dudes welcome back to another video welcome back to the channel uh, I have just driven like five hours away from my house so I think this is the furthest I've ever driven to fish trout fish while I've been in the North Island um, I'm in a place I've never been before it looks amazing I've just arrived literally first impressions of the water and it looks sick so because it's such a long drive such a big mission to get over here I am gonna camp I'm camping here the night well not really not tent camping I've set up my truck for camping I've set up the back of the truck for camping took quite a bit of effort to do this I'll show I'll talk to you more about that a bit later um, but at the moment I'm just gonna get all my gear ready uh, get on the river and see if we can catch fish or at least see a fish Alright, so I'm just walking off downstream. I don't want to fish too much of the water, especially upstream of where I'm hopefully going to camp. Uh, I want to do that tomorrow, so I'm just going downstream. Man, this river is insane. Will there be fish in that kind of water? I don't even know. Look at that. <laughs> I've never actually fished anything that looks like that. Only one way to find out. All right, so I found my first fish. He's right here, just past this rock. I'm gonna throw this dry fly at him. See if he's interested in it. Ooh, look! I didn't actually want. I've only been in this river for a little. A short minute, so it is really good to see a fish. I think I can still see him, he might have just dropped back a bit. That was him. that again I might just leave this guy try to go around him because this is right by my camp see if I can uh, just rest him maybe I can catch him later all right so this is the first actual deep pool I've come across I was I couldn't see any fish but I was just setting up a nymph and while I was doing so I have actually spotted one across this oh yeah I see him he's right hard on the bottom Probably a little bit short. It's got a little longer to begin with. I don't want them to work too hard for it by having to climb too much. But the water, this water is quite deceiving about depth and everything so far. Tricky drift because I've got this water like swirling back up on the inside here. Let's see what we can do. Fish, got him, finally. Man, that took a, that took a little minute. Not the biggest fish in the world, I don't think, but I'm gonna take him at this point. Strong, nonetheless. I don't want to go under this big over undercut bank there. I've lost him. All right, well that sucks shit. Got him. Nice brown. It's actually way bigger than he looked while he was in the pool. Way bigger. He looked quite small. He was so small I don't think ever, I even mentioned it to the camera. I was just having a fish for him on the way past. Where is he going though? It's taking me upstream. Whoa. Dude. This is the craziest 
Come here, come here. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, what a nice fish. Sick. All right, I thought this fish was like two pounds. Turned out to be a really nice brown. First, first fish, first fish from this river, stoked. All right, let's see you go. Cool fish, really happy with that. See you, man. Awesome. Well, that is quite, quite, it's funny how different rivers, different waters make fish look different sizes. That was the smallest fish I thought I had seen. And it's like probably nudging four pound, three pound, three and a half, four pound, something in there anyway. Uh, so the other two or three that I've missed looked even bigger than that, but I thought they were three or four pounders. So that they could have been much bigger fish, five, six pounds, who knows. I haven't gone far at all. There's my truck right there. Uh, yeah, super fun. Glad to get that fish. First fish from this river. All right, we're going to carry on, see if we can get another one. All right, I've just spotted a fish right down here. I'm set up just about perfectly for it. I'm going to climb down there. Brown right up in there. Man, it's not my day. Not my day. Fish. There's two in there. There's a lot of boulders in this river. Oh, I feel like he's got me under a boulder. Here, fish. Get out of there. Get out of there. Done by another one. All right, so I just got, I'm just gonna drive down a couple of, probably 500 meters. And uh, there's a couple of really deep pools that look quite nice to nymph. So I'm gonna go down and do that before I pack everything up for the night. I don't think it's massive, but it's a fish. We will take them right now. We will take all of them. Very bright rainbow. Very bright. Oh yeah, nice fat rainbow. Nice fat rainbow that uh, came from that big deep pool. Really hard fight, super fresh, very healthy fish. All right, see you later, buddy. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Got me all wet. Fish. 
right down in that slack little pocket there. Looks like a similar model. Jesus, maybe a bit bigger. Oh, come on. Three fish from that same spot. Four fish, uh, well, yeah, oh, three. Look, three from that same spot. Over there, and then this one. This one looks like, looks smaller, but it's certainly. These fish are so strong. Man, it's a fish. I wouldn't be surprised if this hook's bent out. Beauty. Real nice fish. Uh, eating a little, little orange bead thing. Nice check. Super strong. Quite short, but man, full of grunt. See you, buddy. So I'm back at the campsite. This is where I'm going to camp for the night. It's right beside this road. There's no sign saying you can't park or it's private land or anything like that. There's a kind of a hut thing here. I think I'm allowed to camp here. Hopefully no one comes along and tells me to bugger off. But what I'm about to do is fly the drone and show you guys this river from the air because it is just amazing. What do you guys reckon? It's pretty, pretty cool river. I think, I, like I was saying earlier, it's been like seven years. So I've been trying. I've known about this river. Wanted to come and check it out, but just never have. So glad I'm finally here. Glad I caught a couple of fish. Looking forward to tomorrow. I just saw the water that's upstream using the drone. Um, it looks good. Way more pockety than there's more stable pools down here. It's way more pocket, kind of pocket water up there, but. I've seen fish in pocket water, so it should be fine. Uh, and it's, it's quite good fun fishing little pockets. All right, dinner time. Tonight we're having, uh, I forget what it is called, macaroni and cheese. First things first though. That's quite good. This is the first trip I've done and since before Christmas. I told you guys I was taking a break. I've well and truly done that. Fished a couple of times, once, maybe twice on the Tongariro. Did catch a couple of nice browns. I made a video of the first trip. That's right, yeah, twice. So I made a video of the first trip and I've got some fish I need to show you guys at some other point. I'll probably add them into a fly box video just so there's a couple of fish in it because there's really nice brown trout, really nice rainbow trout. Uh, never ended up making a video of it because it just, wow, it just didn't turn out that good. But i got to show you these fish because they're really cool. Um, but yeah, back back at my campsite. Pretty sure I'm allowed to camp here. We'll soon find out. I haven't seen, no one has driven past. There's been, I've been here for six hours now. Not one vehicle has gone past. Maybe I didn't mention that it's very, I mean there's a road right there. It's a dirt road, but it, we're way up there. It's uh, pretty remote. There's farms and stuff around, big stations, but yeah. So anyway, I'm happy to be here. 
Happy that I got my vehicle working as a camper. I didn't think I was able to do it in this vehicle. And mind you, I had to take all the seats out. Um, but it's, it's good. It's good now. Right. All right. How's this? It's hot. Let's have another beer. All right, dude. So it's just gone eight, quarter past eight. Weather for tomorrow, it's kind of overcast at the moment, but the weather for tomorrow is bright blue sunny skies. Hopefully that's the case. That should make seeing fish in there a whole lot easier. My plan is, there's a fish down there that uh, I think I got him to eat the first time and then I just harassed him for way too long. I'll rest him overnight. Hopefully I can get him in the morning. I think he's the best fish I've seen so far and he's in shallow water too. Hopefully he's there in the morning. My plan is, start there, go upstream way up that way I saw the water from the drone it looks really good real pocket water hopefully it's all sight fishing if the if it's really crap up there and I can't catch no fish I will probably go downstream and nymph some of those big deeper pools but hopefully it's good that way anyway I'll just show you guys through the truck how I've got the truck set up if you guys are interested so I've just got like a foam mattress in here it's got a lot a liner thing on it but a uh, sleeping bag Probably don't need, you would need a light duvet, it's like 25 degrees tonight, so I'm not going to need a sleeping bag at all. But anyway, I got the cooler in there so the, the mattress is kind of on, on an angle. I know this isn't perfect, but it's it's absolutely perfectly good for me. It's a seven seater, so the other two seats are under that mat, the two seven seats, and then there's a big fold up set, the normal back seat there, but I've taken that all out. So I built this platform. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, so that's where the old seats used to go. Man, that's a real mess. But um, it should work well. And then that's where all my gear is piled. Yeah, so it's cool. I'm looking forward to using it. Hopefully this is my first night in it. Hopefully it works out well and I can do more. Because I really love the idea of uh, going further, spending some more time on the river, out in the, out in the wops. Anyway, I'm gonna climb in there and just chill out for a bit. All right, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like the idea of this camping stuff, uh, truck camping. I can, you know, if I spend more time in here, I can go further. I can explore more. I could probably make more content, more videos. So let me know in the comment section if you like the idea of it, want to see more. Um, but it's just gone like 10 o'clock, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the hay, as they say. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. And I will catch all of you in the next video. Peace. Where's the blood button? Oh, there it is.